SRE-DS software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.redslibrary.com Hi everybody, Fos Mohamed Shah with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about fuel cell for vicious Moses desalination systems. What is the main concept? Uh, how can we run our model? Let's go and see uh, what we can do about that. Uh, a fuel cell is an electrochemical cell that converts chemical energy uh, from a fuel uh, into electricity through an electrochemical reaction of hydrogen fuel with oxygen or, uh, or air um, as usual. Fuel cells uh, are different from batteries in uh, requiring continuous uh, source of fuel and oxygen usually from air in order to sustain the chemical reaction uh, whereas in the battery as the chemical energy uh, comes from chemicals already presented in uh, the battery itself Frozen cells can uh, produce electricity continuously for as long as fuel and oxygen are uh, supplied as you can see here in uh, this schematic we have uh, two sides fuel uh, uh, hydrogen fuel from uh, this side at, at anode side and cathode side we have oxygen and um, the benefits of um, from this is that we have to deal with water vapor uh, heat and electricity uh, that's uh, quite interesting um, for, for our system the, the main concept is simple because we are going to assign the productivity uh, for this smooth desalination plant, with, uh, we have three configurations. With the productivity and the calculation analysis uh, on the vessel smoothies, we are going to calculate the power load on uh, fuel cell. And therefore, we can um, uh, extract our outputs based on design aspects for because it's a design model. As we demonstrated before, this is a water purification technology that uses semi permeable membrane in order to remove ions, molecules, and large particles from drinking water. Uh, it can be uh, quite applicable for uh, uh, it, uh, for drinking water, purification, military uses, uh, uh, food industry, hydrogen production, and so on. We are can deal with the three main configurations basic module, built to wheel turbine energy recovery device, and pressure exchanger uh, recovery device. For uh, this is a basic module, we have to uh, this is one, one input stream uh, feed water, and we have to deal with a rejected stream brine with high pressure stream and uh, permeate water, uh, this up our production water. Uh, for particle drive, we can uh, use uh, particle drive in order to uh, harvest the pressure from the brine loss in order to generate uh, 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 some kind of power in order to reduce the load on high pressure bone. It's a very, very interesting uh, device. Pressure exchanger is a unique device because we can. Uh, uh, it exchanges the pressure between uh, brine and uh, the feed. Therefore, we can uh, increase uh, the pressure going to the membranes by reducing the power on the pressure bump by one over third. It's quite intense with a high rate of efficiency. Uh, we are going to discover load. Uh, demanded by the vessel smoothies on the fuel cell plant, uh, design aspects for vessel smoothies, fuel cell design, and you can uh, uh, see uh, what is your uh, production cost. Let's go and see our run our model. Okay, uh, this is our model. Should be appear like this. Okay, uh, this is our plant. First of all, we have to assign some inputs for uh, reverse osmosis. You can choose uh, uh, the configuration. I'm going for filter wind turbine unit. It's quite interesting. You can assign the air temperature, uh, ambient temperature, uh, sea water salinity, uh, sea water temperature, productivity, number of pressure vessels, 
and some uh, inputs. This is the recovery. I'm going to to keep it. Uh, recovery ratio is around 15. Uh, 15 percent. Okay, let's go for petrol with the, this is uh, uh, basic module petrol with drive and uh, pressure action. I'm going for from here. Yes, this is our model. Petrol with drive. Okay. Ah, okay. Let's go and see if we run our model. I'm going to for. Um, 15. Let's go for 15. Uh, it a temperature results. 600. Let apply. Let's go and run our model dynamically and see our effect. Okay. Let's increase our productivity here. Increasing. Let's uh, controlling. I'm controlling. Uh, yes, controlling the productivity. As you can see, increasing the productivity. I have to watch this the pressure. I have to increase also the number of elements in order to reduce the pressure to its many to uh, um, the optimized level. It's from uh, 40 bars up to 70 bars. 75 no more than 80 bars okay i'm going to yes increase the number of elements sure it's a, it has a negative effect on uh, on the uh, element of the cost because it will increase the running cost i'm going to increase uh, the productivity plant productivity i have to watch uh, this parameter okay 20,000. I'm going for uh, 20,000, increasing number of elements, okay, increasing the productivity, okay, will increase the pressure, increasing up to, okay, 15,000, that's quite interesting, that's so, okay, for uh, filter wind drive, we, uh, okay, this is the power from filter wind drive. Uh, uh, the, the brain loss is going to generate 5000 um, uh, kilowatts and this is uh, the difference uh, between uh, high pressure bump power and filter wheel power this is the, the, the load on the full cell actually this is the, the load total membrane size specific bulk consumption uh, pressure and this is mass flow rate uh, uh, brine loss flow rate, uh, this is brine salinity, uh, product salinity, average salinity, and uh, specific entropy production rate, irreversibility, exergy analysis, and, and so on. Okay, for uh, let's go for fuel cell. Okay, for fuel cell, we have here this is a, the, the voltage. And this is a fuel cost, total cost, and this is a, a, a current ampere. Number of cells, 120 cells. And this is the weight, total weight of the plan of the system. Temperature, maximum stack temperature, size, centimeter cube, uh, pressure, hydrogen pressure, uh, flow rate, and so on. If we we can do some figures, okay. As you can see here, this specific bulk consumption. Sorry, we have to. Okay, specific bulk consumption. Yes, fluctuating because increasing and decreasing. Uh, uh, the number of, of elements against the, the total body. There is a very, this is a total exergy destruction rate, exergy of the feed, exergy of the brine, exergy of the district exergy. Uh, this is a 
pressure difference increasing and decreasing feed mass flow rate okay and as you can see here this uh, uh, this is the current and uh, we have number of cells uh, size of the fuel cell this is the size um, uh, weighting voltage and so on so many parameters you can uh, deal with there is average uh, average salinity uh, ratio okay uh, okay anyway uh, uh, you can deal with uh, many many uh, parameters uh, you can discover uh, the effect of exchanging some variables on uh, fuel cell you can also extract uh, the unit product cost what is the, the production cost of uh, of uh, of fresh water based on uh, how much number of elements you uh, you can use uh, don't forget to uh, download our recommended power cycles for vessel smoothies and desalination uh, systems uh, thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like share uh, subscribe thank you very much